Hello here, it's Ead it's from Ead's Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple dripstone launcher, which will do a bunch of damage to your enemies or mobs if you aim it right. So how this machine works is if we press this button, dripstone will drop and fire and do some damage. Unfortunately, you do have to replace this manually. The most automatic that you could get is have a tripwire to activate the sequence above, and I'm just going to hop right down into how you build it. Alright, the first step is to make a little staircase shape like this and put two redstone on top of it. Place a block atop the top one and place a trip wire hook just like this. This redstone at the bottom, connect it up to a sticky piston like this with a slime block on top. Have three string coming out from this and then what you're going to want to have is a temporary block on the end of the string. A building block and then uh, another trip wire and they should go down just like this with that redstone activate if you step foot there the next thing that you're gonna do is on top of this far trip wire place a redstone torch a block and then another redstone torch this should turn off being on the side then place a temporary block on this redstone torch a sticky piston break your temporary block and take a slide block so it should light up something like this and on top of your sticky piston what you're going to want to do is place two building blocks with another piston on top just like this and make this piston hold a block on top of this sticky piston place a line of blocks this is where you can connect your button up to wherever you want or your tripwire or you could just have multiple of them in here in hopes of getting something if you fire enough of them. And what you're going to want to do is place redstone all along it until you get to the end. And you should place a redstone torch just like that. After you place this redstone torch, you can place a button on this block. If you press this, you should see that piston will retract. To start this up, what you're going to want to do is place a dripstone just like this on the block. When you push the button, it should retract, fall through the tripwire, and be launched far away. If you want, you could build these next to each other, a few behind each other. And yeah, just have fun with this. This is Eats from Eats Gaming, and I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.